Hey, this is Mikey from the Hair Business Blueprint, and today I'm going to walk you through how to start an edge control business step by step. Make sure you don't skip through the video because I'm going to cover creating a logo for your brand, the label design, label printing, the side ingredient label, purchasing wholesale edge control, taking a product photo, adding the edge control product to your website, online marketing, marketing your edge control locally, and even drop shipping edge control to save time. This is the most detailed video on how to start an edge control business on YouTube. You're God right. We have a lot of information to cover, so let's get started. First up, your edge control logo. If you already have a logo for your business, hair company, or beauty brand, you should be good to go. If you don't, we generally recommend having a simple and clean logo design for your edge control brand. This makes it more memorable and easier to print. If you want to design your own logo, I recommend using either Canva or PicMonkey. They are free online design programs that allow you to quickly make a nice logo design. It's always a good idea to give the free option a shot before hiring someone to design your logo. You never know, you could come up with that perfect logo design. If you don't want to design the logo yourself, you can check out the logo design service on Private Label Branding. Private Label Branding will have you fill out a form to help you get your design ideas together. Then the designers will get to work and they provide you with six logo designs in just a few days. You can mix and match your favorite elements, make design suggestions, and then end up with the perfect logo. It's always great to ask for logo design feedback from others. Just keep in mind that your friends and family will almost always say that your logo looks great, even if it sucks. Is that me? No, no, it's nice. It's so nice. I've never looked better. I suggest reaching out to someone that understands an honest opinion will work out best for you. Up next, the top label design. Now that you have the perfectly designed logo, you should have better success with having an eye-catching label design. This will be crucial for getting clients to purchase your edge control in person, online, and hopefully even in beauty supply stores if you can get them to carry your product. In this example, I'm going to use Canva to design the label for private labels, four ounce edge control, which requires a two and a half inch by two and a half inch circle label, just like the one here. Let's head over to Canva and make a quick design. Okay guys, I'm gonna create the label design within Canva pretty quick. You just go click create design. I have it set to inches. So we're gonna design the label for a four ounce edge control, which is a two and a half inch by two and a half inch label. So we have 2.5 by 2.5 create design. And then we have our canvas here. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring this over inside the elements here. Now, I'm gonna bring a circle. Now, you can make this circle whatever color, you just want it different than the white. That way you can design the label. Now, be careful of designing too close to the edges here, here, top, bottom, because the way printing works, sometimes it will crop uh, some of the image and you don't want any important information there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is bring over the your logo here. Maybe I'm gonna make this black just to make it look a little bit better, maybe a lot better. Uh, we can go and we can add some different text elements here. Uh, we might wanna say four ounce, because this is gonna be a four ounce. And then for here, you can put edge control, uh, you can name it Edge Tamer. You know, that's really up to you. Edge Control. You can see that. I'm just going to put it here. 
I'm just keeping it very simple for this design and for this tutorial, but you can see how quick and easy it is to design a nice label within Canva as long as you have a nice logo. As you can see, the design only took a few minutes to make and it looks great. Although, if you don't want to design your own labels, I suggest checking out Private Label Branding. They have over 250 edge control design templates available where all you have to do is upload your, your logo, adjust the text as you please. For five bucks, it's a great deal. Now that you have an eye-catching label design, let's talk about printing the label. Label printing is an easy task. You will want to send the printing company a high resolution version of your label file. We recommend a PNG or PDF in the highest format possible. Different printing companies will accept different file types. Remember, the higher resolution, the better. We want to make sure your labels have crisp letters and graphics. If you designed your logo in Canva, here's a quick tutorial on how to download a high resolution version. Okay, I'm back to show you how to download the right file type to have these printed by a professional printer or even really at home. You want a high quality download. To, to, uh, to do that, you just go to download and then you can do a PNG. If you're gonna do the PNG, I highly recommend using the transparent background. That will cut out the white in the background. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Do not compress the file for lower quality. Okay, so you can see you click that and it's going to download the PNG. We're ready in a second. The other option would be to go to the PDF print and you can have the bleed marks here. I don't really usually download it with it. That's up to you. Uh, just click download here and then you're going to have a super high resolution version to be able to print at home or to send to a printing company to get a nice crisp quality print. There are many different label printing companies online. Some are good, some are great. Of course, if you want to work with a team that prints edge control labels every day, consider once again using private label branding. They have a few different label printing options, including a fast rapid print option that offers 25 labels to get started so you don't have to pay for hundreds of labels at once to be printed. Bulk printing might give you more labels than you need when you're just starting out. And here's a pro tip. You can save money on the cost per label by ordering a larger quantity at once. If you're just starting out, I don't really recommend this as you will probably need the funds to buy inventory and spend money on marketing. If your brand is selling a bunch of edge control, then this could be a good investment. Up next, the side ingredient label. If you're ordering from private label, the edge control containers already come with a well-designed ingredient label. If you're using another edge control vendor, you'll want to measure the sides so you can both design and print a new label. The steps for designing and printing will be the same as demonstrated previously in Canva. This will be a much smaller label, so be careful not to design too close to the edges as sometimes text can be cut off during the printing process. Okay, so how do you purchase wholesale edge control? Now that you have most of the design elements for your edge control brand out of the way, it's time to get some physical edge control containers. I recommend working with our company, Private Label, which has been a leader in edge control distribution since 2015. The key was to create an edge control that doesn't leave white flakes, smells great, and has a strong hold for everyday use. It's probably impossible to have an edge control that works for every single person's hair type, but I can confidently say Private Label's edge control is perfect for about 96% of people that use it. And once they try it, they're hooked. You can read the hundreds of reviews for the product to get a good indication of how great it is. Of course, I recommend trying a few different companies to find out what is going to work best for you and your brand. Just like the labels, you will save on the cost per unit by purchasing bulk quantities. 
having a great logo, label design, and product is the key to a winning edge control brand. Now let's talk about getting your edge control product photos. If you have a light box, you can quickly take your own photos. It's always best to use a professional camera, but you can always get away with using a cell phone. Your other options are to hire a professional product photographer. This can get a little more expensive, but if you want the best, it might be worth the cost. All right, so I'm here in the private label studio and I have the greatest private label photographer in the whole entire world, Miss Amaka. And she is gonna take some photos with her cell phone and then with the professional camera in the light box because we want you to be able to see the difference between just a cell phone photo and then a professional photo. She's gonna do some light edits to them and you're gonna be able to see the end result. If it's not something you can afford today, make sure you keep it on your list as something you do down the road. Now let's add your products to your website. In this example, I will add the product to a Shopify store. Since I already have my product photo, I just need to come up with a product description and price. Watch how easy this is. All right, now that you have your edge control product photo, we're gonna go ahead and add it to your website. Now, in this example, I am gonna be using the Shopify platform. Uh, before you can add it to a product page, you gotta create a edge control category. So I just click create collection, edge control, and save. Actually, I'm gonna switch it over to manual just in case. So I'm gonna save that. And then now we have our edge control collection. We're gonna go over to products and we're gonna add a product. And then we're gonna call this uh, edge control. You can come up with a different name. I'm gonna do four ounce. I have a product photo. I'm just using the ones from Private Label Extension. Super simple. Up next, you would put your edge control description here. Okay, so talk about you know the features that it doesn't flake, that it has extra hold, that's a clear gel. Put it in your own words. That's key. Uh, price. I'm going to charge $14.99. Uh, you can put in your cost per item. Uh, it's managed by Shopify. If you are uh, having inventory, you can put how many you have quantity available. It's a physical product. Uh, you're going to want to put the shipping weight in here. It's going to make shipping a lot easier. The country and region, USA. So we can slide through here. Include, choose United States. And then you're going to also want to edit the website SEO. This is really important. So edge control, four ounce. And then you're going to want to put in an edge control description here. So you're not going to want it to say edge control description here. You know, best selling clear edge control to tame your hair. And then, you know, you would keep going and you want to make it unique uh, for your brand. Maybe if it's for your brand, maybe put a mention in there about your brand. Uh, and then the last step would be to add to collections and we add it to the edge control collection. We're going to make this active. We're going to click save. And there we go. The edge control should be up and running. And we can go ahead and view the edge control product. Not my favorite theme, by the way, but that's okay. So you have the edge control, the price. Uh, we have this quantity set to zero, so it says sold out. So you would update the quantity, and then the description would go here. And that's how you add edge control to your website. Adding a product to your Shopify, WordPress, Wix, or any other platform is usually really easy. Now that you have your edge control ready to sell, let's talk about online marketing. Here are five edge control tips to get your marketing going. First, you can hire an influencer. It's a fast and easy way to get your brand in front of those outside of your social following. 
There are platforms like BeautyClout that make hiring influencers for edge control easy. Marketing idea number two is blogging. Start writing a blog post about how amazing your edge control is. In time, Google will index your article and hopefully it can be found by visitors searching for edge control in the future. Blogging is a long-term approach to marketing, so the sooner you get started, the better. Marketing idea number three, email newsletters. Are you building your email list? It's a great way to stay in touch with your visitors and keep them updated with new product announcements, like your new edge control brand. And think about this, if you make a tutorial on your website on how to properly apply the edge control, you could probably get more people to click over to your website than just selling them the product. You can sell them the product within the blog post about the edge control. Marketing idea number four is Facebook and Instagram ads. With today's algorithms, it can be tough to get in front of your followers and target market. Creating a Facebook ad for the new edge control can be a fast way to get the word out about your product. You can even run a test. Have one ad direct straight to your product page and another ad link over to your blog post. Find out what's gonna be best and give you the greatest return on your marketing dollars. Marketing idea number five is to create a YouTube video. Most people are visual. Grab a friend and a camera to record a tutorial on how to apply the edge control. Then post it on YouTube. A bonus tip would be to then embed that video on the blog post you wrote about the edge control on your website. Now you will be winning with marketing. You can also market your edge control locally. The best way to do this is by giving out samples. I'm a huge fan of the one ounce mini edge control samples that are available on the private label website. I will link directly to them in the description below. The one ounce samples are a cost effective way to get a bunch of samples in the hands of potential clients. Make sure you have a website set up and a way to actually sell the product when giving out the samples. This is key. You maybe can even find some people to make a quick Instagram video showcasing the product. For this, I would recommend giving out a free two ounce or four ounce sample. It's an inexpensive way to get more extra content for your website and social media. And if you decide to do this, make sure you follow up with them so they get the video or social media post done. Then let them know ahead of time you're gonna be following up. What if you wanna sell edge control but not actually pack and ship the orders? That's where dropshipping comes in. Both Dropship Bundles and Dropship Beauty have edge control in stock at all times to do this. I will put links to both in the description below. The dropshipping process allows you to sell online without the need for inventory. Once an order comes in, you would log into the dropshipping portal and pay for the order. This sends the order to the dropshipping team to prepare for shipment. Once shipped, you are sent a tracking number to relay to your customer. It's really that easy and simple. Both platforms have the option to store your branding at the warehouse and have it added to the edge control as orders come in. This is the perfect solution for someone that doesn't want to purchase a bunch of inventory or have time to run to the post office every day to drop off orders. And here's a pro tip. Our most successful clients use a hybrid system of having some edge control on hand to sell to their clients and access to drop shipping to process orders online through one of the drop shipping portals. This is a huge help when you're out of town or on vacation and want to run your business remotely. The dropship team will always do their best to make sure your online orders are arriving and looking great when your customers get them. This way, everyone wins. The last step for your edge control business is what I call buy, sell, repeat. 
Now that you have your edge control business up and running, you will need to keep it going. You've done most of the hard work at this point, but not all of it. Keeping your business up and running by investing back into it is key. Buy, sell, repeat. It's my tagline for clients buying wholesale and selling retail. I can't stress the importance of reinvesting your sales to buy more products and to have more marketing dollars to spend, which is crucial to keep your business going and the only way to grow your profits in the future. Too many times I've seen someone start sprinting towards success and burn out after they realize business is going to be a marathon. Let me say it again, buy, sell, repeat. It's the key to success. Once you start making profits from sales, you must reinvest them back into more product, marketing, website updates, technology, and everything else needed to run your business. The longer you can hold off from purchasing that new car to show off your success, the better your car will eventually be and actually able to afford. Selling edge control might not make you millions of dollars, but it could be a great product to introduce a client to you and your brand. Later, that same client might purchase lashes, wigs, extensions, and other higher price items from your brand. Keep pushing and stay focused on growing your business. Kick through the roadblocks you face. There will be many and know that you can do this. Make sure to check me out on the hairbusinessblueprint.com and hairbusinessmasterclass.com. I will put the links to my websites in the description below.